Hello guys, welcome back to the another video of Aim Amy. Today we will learn about what is casting its working process, advantages, disadvantages, and main casting terminology. Casting is defined as a manufacturing process in which molten metal pure into a mold or a cavity of desire shape, and allow to solidify which form a predefined shape. This process is widely used to manufacture complex parts which cannot be made by other processes. All major parts like bed of lathe machine, milling machine bed, IC engine component etc. are made by this process. So let's check out what are the steps in casting. But before going to our video, please consider subscribing. And click on the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. There are many types of casting which works differently but all these processes involves following steps. First metal is melted in a suitable furnace. Now molten metal poured into a predefined cavity. The molten metal allows to solidify at desire cooling rate. Removal of cast part from mold and clean it for further processes like machining, surface finishing, polishing etc. Let's check out the advantages and disadvantages of casting process. Casting has following advantages over other manufacturing process. It can create any complex structure economically. The size of object doesn't matter for casting. The casting objects have high compressive strength. All structure made by casting has wide range of properties. This can create an accurate object. All material can be cast. It creates isotropic structure. It is cheapest among all manufacturing processes. Composite component can be easily made by casting. Along these advantages, casting has following disadvantages. It gives poor surface finish and mostly requires surface finish operation. Casting defects involves in this process. It gives low fatigue strength compared to forging. It is not economical for mass production. So guys we have seen the process of casting and advantages and disadvantages. Now let's check out the terminology which is used in casting process. The first one is flask. The molding flask is used to hold the sand mold. The sand mold has desire cavity of object which to be cast. The sand is rammed into the flask to create sand mold in which metal is poured to get desire shape. It is created into minimum two pieces which allows removal of pattern easily. The upper half of the molding flask is known as cope half and the bottom part of flask is the drag half. If there are more than two parts in a molding flask, then these intermediate parts are known as cheeks. These are used in complex casting. Next and very important is the pattern, pattern is replica of object to be created. It is made by either wood, wax, or other suitable material. It is placed into molding flask and sand rammed over it which forms an object cavity into sand. Next is the pouring basin, it is a funnel shaped cavity at the top of the mold. The metal is poured into pouring basin from where it is supplied at different parts of mold. Move on ahead is the runner, runner is a horizontal passage of molten metal. It connects sprue to getting system. Normally it is situated at lower half of mold. Next is the riser, riser is used as reservoir of molten metal when pouring of molten metal has stopped. When the cavity is filled by molten metal, the pouring is stopped which allows solidifying object. During solidification, Volume trick shrinkage takes place which reduces the desire size and shape of object. The riser is provided into the mold which supplies the molten metal to remove effect of volume trick shrinkage during solidification. These are further divided into top riser, blind riser, side riser etc. Next is spro, it is a passage which connects pouring basin to the runner. It controls the flow of molten metal from pouring basin. It is tapered in shape. 
Next is the ingate, it is the entry point through which molten metal enters into the actual mold cavity. Next is the core, core is used to cast hollow cavity. It is also a sand structure and placed at right place into mold cavity where hollow part is to be created. The metal poured into mold cavity does not fill the part at which core is placed thus form a hollow cavity. Moving ahead are the chaplets. These are supporting components of core. These used to support and hold the core into mold cavity. These protect the core from various forces encounter in casting. Next are chills, these chills are generally solid metal pieces which are placed into cavity to increase cooling rate. Mainly it is used to create direction solidification of molten metal. They have high thermal conductivity. And the last one are vents, these are small passages made in mold which allow to escape the gases during solidification. So guys that was all about the casting process, advantages, disadvantages, and terminology of casting process. I hope you like our video. If you have any doubts please comment below. Share our video on social networks. In the next video we will see patterns and types of patterns. Till then stay tuned with Aim Amy. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.